What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. And today we've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus a real camera. I do this shoot every single year to see how well portrait mode has gotten on the new iPhone. We're shooting with Stella today, so let's shoot. Uh, away from this tree, so you're kind of in this area. So we're gonna start with the, the 5X camera because that's our, our new camera we get to shoot with. We have a bit of shadow. I wonder if we tilt the hat up just a little bit. Yeah, something like that. You can keep your eyes closed if you want. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hold it. Looks sick. So let's try like a wider shot then. So let's go to the 2X camera. And then that makes this like a 50 millimeter, right? We're getting some fall leaves changing color here. Cool, ready? Three, two, one, hold it. Three, two. One, hold it. Nice. I am noticing that the iPhone's bringing these highlights down quite a bit. So your face isn't as bright on the iPhone shots. They both look great. Let's try one more shot, maybe with your back against the rock. And I'll kind of shoot out this way. So this is our 2X. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hold it. Three, two, one. Boom. One more. Nice. So on that shot, it pulled all the shadows out of your face where the shadows are a little bit darker on the uh, actual camera, but that's kind of typical to the HDR look, right? So for the last couple of years, the iPhone has pretty much stayed the same in terms of focal lengths. Obviously the processing has gotten better on portrait mode, but this year on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we got that 5X telephoto zoom, which is 120 millimeters. And I so happen to have a lens here that can go to that. There will be some nice natural shallow depth of field with this camera as it is, and then enhanced with the portrait mode bokeh. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the 35 millimeter for this. Love the entire thing. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, hold that. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, hold that. Yes. That's actually pretty dope with your hands up towards the camera because uh, in iOS 16, they added this foreground bokeh. So let's see how this looks. Boom. Nice. That's where it starts to really show like a real camera from a fake camera. That's cool. That's sick. Do we want to do one where you like dangle the stuff in front of your eyes? Can we get it in the sun a little more somehow? Today's video is sponsored by Spec, and they just came out with these new Presidio 2 MagSafe with click lock cases for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And the thing I love about these cases is that they're compatible with MagSafe accessories, but also with their click lock accessories. So working in conjunction with MagSafe, they have this click lock, no slip interlocking technology that adds extra security to prevent Spec's click lock accessories from rotating and falling off compared to standard MagSafe. So using Spec's click lock accessories like the wallet or the car vent mount accessory, you can just drop it on, locks in place, and it's not going anywhere. Actually, you know what? Let me show you. So this is Spec's car vent mount, which uses their click lock technology. The vent mount has a nice minimal design with angle and rotation adjustment, but listen how satisfying it is when you drop the phone onto it. Now there's a few variations of these Presidio 2 cases and this is the Pro case, they also have a grip case and this is the Presidio Perfect Clear. And I love this case because you can actually see the color of your phone through the case and that's the whole reason why you bought your phone in that color in the first place so you can see it. But I think I prefer the Pro case because it has a nice soft touch material. They both have a nice grip and they both slide in and out of your pocket no problem. It's overall just good protection for your phone and they're stating that these can handle up to a 13 foot drop. These cases are made with 50% recycled plastics and they also have antimicrobial product protection, which is pretty dope. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting any of these cases or accessories from Specs website, make sure to use my code linked in the description because they get 15% off site wide. Uh, thanks to Spec for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to shooting. <laughs> um, just kind of in the shorter stuff here, we don't have to go too deep. This is a close-up shot, three, two, one. Looking into camera this time. Three, two, one, hold that. Nice. I like the mysteriousness of this shot. I like that you can't see your eyes. 
I wouldn't mind to try like a full body shot with the 5X camera just to see what it'll do. So I'm gonna have to get back really far. Let's see if I got it. I think we should try and get more of these 5X type portrait shots because I know that people are gonna wanna see how that camera looks because that looks really nice. Oh, that's gonna look sick. Yas! It even did a really good job at cutting your hair out considering how busy that background is. Let's go back to a 35 mil shot here. This is full body, three, two, one. Keep holding it. Nice. So I usually style all my own shoots and I wanted to use this hat with fringe, but I decided against it because I was scared that portrait mode would mess it up and I didn't want to have a bunch of bad photos, but we tried it near the end of the shoot here and it actually did a really good job as long as you don't have a busy background. But watch, when I convert this to a portrait mode shot, it, it stays in. Very weird. That's fine because that's out of focus. That looks awesome. That looks insane. That looks amazing. So I've already talked about this and shown this a few times, but you can take your shot not in portrait mode, just in the regular camera. It saves the depth mapping info, and then you can dial it in after the fact, change your f-stop, change your focus point. And it seems that it's actually doing a better job when you shoot it this way than when you're in regular portrait mode. And I know that in my first impressions video, I said that the 5X telephoto camera was very underwhelming, but I take that back because if you give this camera a lot of light, it has tons of detail. And if you're close, it actually has really nice shallow depth of field. And that's going to also be enhanced when you're using portrait mode. Anyway, these last shots are actually edited with my presets so I can show you what you're able to do with these shots after the fact. And it's only a matter of time before Apple nails this and you won't even be able to tell the difference. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. That is the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus a real camera. That's Stella. Thanks to everybody behind the scenes there. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you just like this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, we're, we're the dark nights. <laughs> I put on suntan lotion, not sunscreen. I put on the reverse. Have a good walk. I've just never heard anyone say that to someone before. It's like a quick way to shut someone down so there's no more conversation. Cha cha cha. Oh, she, she goes into it. She just turns into liquid. Don't I look so good right now? Eliminate all humans. Who's that girl? The she, demon lord. She is the demon lord. A calendar photo? Yeah, I don't know why. What kind of calendar? When they have like Cowgirls Month. Cowgirls Illustrated. Yeah.